Social distancing is life-saving, but it is also isolating. As a reminder that we're all in this together, a local effort is making people feel closer than ever. Madeline O'Neill shares a project looking to connect communities. Hi, Maddie. Well, like many of you, I'm here working from home. There's a new trend that's popping up that you can take part in from the comfort of your home. It's getting attention from people nationwide, and you might be surprised to find out where it started. Being cut off from the rest of the world isn't easy. I miss my students. I miss, you know, that routine. What might seem small on the surface. Just to know that that little thing that I did is causing people so much happiness and um, helping them through a tough time, it just makes my heart happy. Is shaping up into something big. The heart is just a universal symbol of love and um, also as a healthcare worker of strength. Hearts are popping up everywhere in windows of homes and stores, including Dave's Ace Hardware, which is offering supplies for community members to start their own projects. And this seems to have taken taken a life of its own, especially in the Milton community, but really around the world. And uh, so we decided we'll, we'll, we'll get on board with the hearts. They're posted on the Facebook group Happy Heart Hunt with 70,000 members from all over and counting started last week. A teacher in uh, one of the Milton schools who was a mother of one of my former employees. A small world. Yeah, it's wild. Made even smaller when teacher Leslie Brizett started the Facebook group. You know, being that we are all at home and we aren't getting that, you know, connectedness to others that we crave, I think, as humans, it's just caused this group to be a place where people can grow and feel like they are connected and that they can walk through their neighborhood and see these hearts and, you know, we're all going through the same thing. When the rest of the world feels far apart, the hearts show a connection that's always there. Everybody around wants the best thing for Melton and for our country and for the world. So we're, we're all in this together. You know, that thread that holds us together. Well, to give you some context on just how quickly this group is growing, when I first started pursuing the story this morning, there were at about 70,000 members. Right now, it's more than 76,000 members. That's up 1,000 even in the past hour. So clearly something that's catching on pretty quickly. Definitely. Maddie O'Neill reporting tonight. Maddie, thank you.